And if you're a leader, you know, number one, leadership is a little more of a lonely place because you don't have many peers you can discuss these, these things with, right? And that's how, ironically, the time you need it most is you're feeling more imposter syndrome. The more senior you get, you have the less support there because there aren't many peers in your organization. And certainly if you're the CEO, you are the only CEO. And so you don't have that support structure in place to help you to help offset these feelings right and so you are therefore going around in your head a lot more about this stuff you don't have somebody to talk it through with you don't have a support group or any structures in place to really kind of support you through that yeah and it gets it gets harder and harder yeah you know what's interesting is that even last week i had a presentation about this kind of image and this kind of pressure in the business environment uh, business environments because what is very interesting is that we still hear a lot of how to work extra mile, how to work more. And if you need to reach something, you never give up. Mm -hmm. But there is a huge but. Like even the research shows that if you are more focused on one thing and you do less, you are more satisfied, you are more healthy, and you reach more. So more doesn't mean more which is really interesting like i don't know how it happened with such a huge speed that we became um you know existing in the in the environment where there is so much i call it press which is pressure and stress in competition <laughs> uh, to to reach high position in ideal place up to 30 years old because otherwise we are not good entrepreneurs if it's later. And, you know, this kind of stuff, like working till late nights that don't need to have any personal life. Now the well-being became such a buzzword, but sometimes I feel it means like you go to massage and spa and like that's your well-being and work-life balance, right? which is not actually the, the right way. So, and that's all around the imposter syndrome, all around showing the real doubts. And honestly, when I imagine the boss who comes and say, you know, I have no idea like what to do now, or, you know, I also had my doubts when I became a leader or boss, that would be such a relief for myself and that would be such a motivating point for me that even I can do it. So I don't know, like, that's something that we try to do even with Trust Women, which is very controversial, like, uh, controversial, like to, to have the presentation in the bank and tell people, like, do less. You will be much more happy. And then you need to say, like, listen, it will be helpful, good for the company, the economic results. Etc. But uh, but yeah, this is what what my beliefs are, and uh, of course, it's some of it it's support with my experiences, and some of it it's it's support even by the research. 